next verse that this person brought was from John chapter 10, the next passage, verses 14 through 16. He said, <clears throat> he quoted this passage where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father and lay down my life for the sheep and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So presumably focusing on this part here where the Lord says, I lay down my life for the sheep. So without question, the cross pertains to the sheep, the elect. Uh, and this verse, this passage seems to be indicating that that is the scope of the cross. However, we have John 10, 7 to 9, just ahead of that, uh, where Jesus says unto them, Again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door, he goes on to say, by me if any man enter in. Who? Any man, says Jesus, by me if any man enter in. He shall be saved and shall go in and out and shall find pasture, indicating that this cross is for the world. John 10, 26 to 27 is the next passage that I was quoted. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So, again, this person's opinion, the cross only pertains to the sheep. However, we find, again, in the same chapter, verses 31 to 38, Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do ye stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe me not, Believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. So here we have Jesus appealing to unbelievers who are calling Jesus a blasphemer who have not believed his words. He's saying, look, look at the works that I've done. If you're not going to believe my words, at least believe the works. Why? That ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. So Jesus is speaking of the possibility of believing in him through the works that he has done. So clearly this uh, appeal is to all people. So the cross, the work of Jesus must be for all, for that to have any sense at all.